wanting to share their testimony of how God Almighty has rescued them from a terrible sickness that the wife was having for many years. God has rescued them and they are living testimony to the miraculous power of God in the lives of the people. So we want to hear from them. So please tell us your name and your testimony. Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Esther Eniola and the man beside with me is Johnson Eniola. We come from Niger State. Our problem is badness. Your testimony. Can you tell us the problem that we are having that God Almighty delivered you from? God delivered deliver me on uh, fibroid, 15 years fibroid. So you mean we are having the problem of fibroid for 15 years? Yes. And what other problems were you having? I go many places like a, a native doctor. All my friends have been taking me to native doctor because I'm fearing to do operation. Anywhere I go to hospital, they will ask me that uh, I should do the operation. If not that, I will die with the operation. So I, they used to carry me up and down to native doctor. So you mean for 15 years you are having uh, this problem of fibroid? Yes. And what other thing did it can reveal in your womb? The uh, problem is used to turning me. I used to feel seizing. So we, we have heard from the woman who said she was having a terrible problem of uh, fibroid for 15 years and uh, she went to many places in search of solution to this problem but she could not get one. And can you tell us, um, the, the, any time you are in your menstrual cycle, how will this problem of fibroid affect you? Oh, I used to feel pain, serious pain. So that even my husband used to pity me. Used to pity yeah, apart from me the woman who well, well. as a result of the fibroid, anytime she's in a menstrual cycle, she will feel terrible pains to the sense that she, uh, the, her husband always have sympathy, pity for her. And were you able to go about your daily activities anytime you are in your menstrual cycle? No, I don't. And I don't go out. So you remain indoors? I will meet the men in my room. So um, on, on the side, we can see a board right beside you. Yes. And there's something that's been written on the scan that the doctor detected when you were having this problem. Apart from fibroid, can you point to the uh, medical report that states the problem you are having then? What other thing did the doctor reveal that was your problem apart from the fibroid? Uh, this is the first one. When I went to the uh, hospital, and what I is did stated my on the medical report? Yes, this is my uh, medical report for the scan. And we can see on the they medical report it stated fibroid, that is multiple uterine fibroid, and left ovarian oh, follicular cyst, cyst, meaning that the sister was having the problem of fibroid and ovarian cyst for 15 horrible okay. years. Yes. And this was what led to barrenness in her life. And can you tell it's us how correct. God Almighty rescued you from those problems? How did God Almighty deliver you from yes, those problems? Yes, my, my friend called call my house and told me that he have uh, anointing water that uh, is very, very powerful. So he gave me, and he prayed for me, and ministered it for me. And he just gave me. So my, my stomach started be turning me, turning me, turning me where, where? It started be turning me. Behold, that is how the tea just left. So when I went to hospital and checked, because I'm fearing to go to hospital again, because I don't want them to operate me. So when I go to hospital, they told me that I did not have fibroid again. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Put your hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Yes, we have heard from the sister who said she was having the problem of fibroid as multiple uterine fibroid for 15 years. And not only that, she was also having ovarian cysts for 15 horrible years. 
and this caused her barrenness and she said that this prevented her anytime she was in her menstrual cycle from doing anything she would remain indoors but the moment she was opportune to receive the anointing water and she ministered it she said she had some kind of rumbling in her stomach and immediately the fibroid melted out let us ask her after you ministered the anointing water, what did you see come out of your body immediately you ministered the anointing water? Yes, children of God, praise the Lord. So when I ministered it, I went home for two days. That is how I saw my menstruation come out black and powerful. So smelling myself. That's our what the God so, dealt to me. So we heard from the sister who said that immediately she ministered the anointing water. She immediately saw blood. That is the fiber melting out of her. And the color now was different from all other um, um, menstrual cycles she has been having. This time it was black and thick, meaning that the fiber was what was melting out of her. That was immediately she ministered the anointing water. And we heard from her that after this, she went back to the hospital and did another scan. And this time, to the glory of God, it revealed that she's no longer having the fiber nor the ovarian cyst. Once again, shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Just to know that God Almighty does not answer prayer without a miracle. Miracles are proof that the scriptures were true and they still are. There was one proof then and there is one proof now. And that is miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the miracle worker is still alive. And in his name is what? Jesus. If you know that, put your hands together once for him. Put your hands together for Jesus. Just to give glory to God for what he has done in your life. Setting you free and healing you of this terrible problem of fibroid and ovarian cyst. I want to ask you one thing. Immediately the fibroid melted out of you. Can you tell us the changes you saw in your body? Yes. Children of God, praise the Lord. When, during the time I have the fibroid, my stomach big. Like I say, I have uh, pregnancies. So everybody will be looking at me that I have pregnancies, but it's fibroid with me. But when I take the anointing water, I saw myself very free, flat, my, my stomach flat. I didn't have any problem again. And we can, children of God, we can see the evidence of this. Uh, we can see that the stomach we are seeing on the screen of our television right now is very flat. Compared to when she was having the fiber, as she said, her stomach was very big, like somebody who was uh, four months uh, pregnant. And there was a, a, a situation, horrible situation she was in for 15 years. But after the fiber was removed through the medium of the anointing water, we can see the evidence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is life's change. So we give glory to God. So um, what is your advice to people that are listening to you right now? Yes. The people are listening at me at home now. I advise them to be trust in God. Hallelujah. She's telling us that those that feel dejected, uh, they should continue to trust in the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because it's indeed the solution to all fundamental issues of life. You know you have told us once again, but we still want you to point to the reports we are seeing beside you once again for the benefit of those that are listening to you. Tell us the reports we are seeing on the board. You can see now, this is the first one I went to, to, uh, uh, to do the stand, the first one. And they asked me that I have fibroid and uh, or blue ovarian cysts. Okay. So the second one, they asked me that I didn't have any anything in my stomach again that was after you ministered the anointing water hallelujah we give glory to god almighty so we'd like to hear a word from your husband who has accompanied you here today to give this wonderful testimony so sir please tell us your name emmanuel 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 my name is john c Enola. The person who is behind me is Mrs. Esther Enola. So what do you want to say concerning what God has done in the life of your wife, in a nutshell? I thank God the thing way God do for me and my wife. Because uh, January 2013, 
We went to hospital. They said you could wash it belly. They can bring some like fifty thousand. We pay fifty thousand. So after we pay fifty thousand, the doctor said we go do test again. He went to hospital April two thousand thirteen. So as soon as we said he get far brought again. So it means that the brother is saying that uh, when we are going in search of solutions to these problems. One of the recommendations from the doctor was that they had to wash her womb and they paid the money and her womb was washed and after they carried out another test, the fibroid was still there. So what has God Almighty done in the life of your wife after she ministered the anointing water? Ah, see, I'm very happy. The thing God do for my wife, because the day we bring the anointing water, wait, let me say, your sister, bring the anointing water from, uh, from synagogue. As he used the anointing water, he started to roll for the ground. Like say, person where where one born it, where one born became. So we heard from this brother who said immediately the wife ministered the anointing water. She was having a serious stomach rumbling, and she was rolling on the ground. That it was when God was indeed carrying out that surgical operation to remove that fibro that had been in her womb for 15 years. So uh, after that, when she went for another test, what was the result? So as we went to another test this, this year, April, so as come out, he said, there are some thoughts inside the belly. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. We give glory to God. We have heard from the couple. They are just so full of joy, laughter, and happiness regarding what God has done in their lives. Yes, God Almighty has set you free from that terrible problem of fibroid ovarian cysts. And I want to advise you that the secret of continuous blessing, healing, is to stay true to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ till the very end when we are glorified at last. So continue to follow him along the way, knowing that the primary reason why you have been healed is for the salvation of your soul. So we thank you very much. Put your hands together once again for Jesus Christ. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de ce couple qui nous dit que la dame, pendant 15 ans, a eu à faire face à un problème de fibromes et de kystes ovarien. Elle a eu à visiter les tradis praticiens, mais ils n'ont pas pu lui donner des solutions. À l'hôpital, les médecins ont décidé de l'opérer parce que sans cela, elle allait perdre la vie. Alors, euh, les fibromes la dérangeaient beaucoup. Elle avait aussi euh, beaucoup de douleurs quand elle passait ses règles pendant ses menstruations, ce qui l'empêchait de faire ses activités. Et par la grâce de Dieu, elle reçut l'odonction et après application, elle a eu des douleurs au bas avant depuis deux jours plus tard, elle passait ses règles avec beaucoup d'écoulements sanguins de couleur noire. Elle a senti qu'elle était libérée et son ventre qui était enflé à cause des fibromes a repris sa forme normale. Elle est retournée à l'hôpital pour de nouveaux examens et les médecins ont constaté cette fois-ci que le fibrome qui la dérangeait depuis 15 ans ainsi que le kyste ovarien ont totalement disparu. Ils sont ici pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu pour avoir accompli ce miracle dans leur vie. Continuons avec plus de testimonies. Feliz testimonio acerca de que esta mujer padecía de quistes en los ovarios y meoma uterino al tal grado de que parecía de que ella estuviera embarazada de la dimensión de este meoma en su estómago. Ella nos platica que de, de, tuvo la oportunidad de obtener el agua de unción, inmediatamente que ella aplicó el agua de unción, síntomas y sucesos empezaron a aparecer en su estómago al grado de revolcarse, moverse con con movimientos internos hasta que finalmente desechó este fibroma para la gloria de Dios enseñándonos en este momento cómo su estómago está completamente plano sin esta inflamación y completamente libre de este problema de quistes en los ovarios además de este fibroma meoma uterino gloria a Dios, continuamos con más poderosos testimonios del agua de unción 